This video demonstrates how to fix line width issues in Adobe Illustrator. All elements within your design must be at least one point. Any element that is thinner than one point will not print. You can check to see if an element within an image is sufficiently thick by drawing a one point line next to it. Here is an example of a sailboat image that has portions of it which do not meet the Pro World guidelines. Notice that the line we drew is thicker than several of the lines in the sailboat. These areas will need to be fixed to ensure these lines will not disappear when the design is printed. Oftentimes, advanced editing techniques will be required to fix your art, and in these cases, a professional graphic artist may be needed. With that said, here are a few easy techniques that you may find useful when preparing your art for printing. If the problematic areas of your art were created using strokes or brushes, the following steps are useful for thickening the lines to ensure proper printing. Note that in Adobe Illustrator, the width or thickness of a line is referred to as the stroke weight. Double click on the magic wand tool in the tools palette. Make sure Stroke Weight and Stroke Color are checked and all other options are left unchecked. The tolerance for Stroke Weight should be set to 0.01 inches. Using the Magic Wand tool, click on an object that has a stroke weight lower than one point. This will select all objects with a similar stroke weight. Switch to your Stroke palette and type one point in the weight box and hit enter. While we have corrected the stroke weight, we have created a knockout problem where knockout is not at least two points. Please see our knockout video for a more detailed explanation. If you still have objects in your design that are too thin to print, this is most likely because they are colored using fill instead of stroke. Techniques for fixing this type of problem are numerous and fall outside of the scope of this video. With this in mind, here's one quick trick that works in many cases. Just as before, we drew a one-point blue line for reference to help determine if our lines are sufficiently thick. Select the object you wish to thicken, switch to your color palette, and click on the box representing the object's fill color. Now click and drag this color into the box representing the stroke color. Switch to the stroke palette and change the line weight to a value which makes the total width of the line at least one point thick. Note that the stroke value you set here is in addition to the width of the existing object, so you will usually need to add only 0.5 points or less to achieve the desired line thickness. While we may fix some areas, we may cause issues in others. It is imperative to double check your design thoroughly after making changes. Pro World Custom. Produce your own custom transfers at pwcustom.com.